Women have always gathered together. And tonight in San Francisco, historians, theologians, environmentalists, and political activists meet and talk about their revolution. The history and mythology of women, ignored and distorted through centuries of patriarchy, is being rediscovered. Mm -hmm. And what is your name? It's beautiful. Nuli Ajuk. Two snakes in our hand and the breasts and all we would use for Yemaya local. It might have come from Africa. The Cretan religion was very related to the. That's true. They had a lot of magic going up to Crete. That's for sure. She's everywhere. She is. She is everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say that it might be interesting to contrast the way the goddess religion is returning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Not at all right. in a warrior-like way, but first of all through individual consciousness, as we're all bearing witness to. But also um, through some amazing historical discoveries. You know, the Gnostic Gospels were unearthed in 1948 with this very important tradition of goddess worship within Christianity in them. and. Maybe 90% of goddess relics, artifacts, and shrines have been unearthed since the war, even though mm -hmm. the archaeology has been going on since the middle of the 19th century. Mm. I was told that nobody knew anything about the ancient goddesses because there was no evidence left. And it kept developing and developing until I ended up with this enormous amount of information about ancient goddess worship. And there was an enormous amount of evidence of ancient texts and ancient statues, ancient temples, things that we had never been taught in, in school. I mean, you could get your doctorate in certain areas and still never learn about these subjects.